Hi everybody and welcome to week two of your logic course. I enjoyed the assignments that you posted last week and I'm looking forward to seeing the topics that you select for your papers this week and also the discussions I think are going to be very interesting. This week we're going to be talking about language and definitions, ambiguity and vagueness in our conversations and in language itself. And what this means basically is that we all use language with the idea that we understand uh, similar definitions. However, these things can be ambiguous and we can have different associations to words that some people might not. And as you saw during week one when you posted your many of you noticed that there were misunderstandings because of language constructions and the instructions that you were given you misinterpreted and so that's what we're going to be talking more about this week. We'll also be talking about logical fallacies and that's uh, a mistake that you make in reasoning and we can see logical fallacies everywhere particularly when we look at newspapers uh, and we also review uh, political speeches and we're going to be taking the opportunity to do some of those things. The second assignment you'll be selecting a paper topic. There's a list of topics but if those don't interest you you can feel free to select your own topic but it must be persuasive in nature and so you might want to think about doing something within your field, something that's going to interest you because we're going to be working on this for the rest of the term. So during this first portion of the assignment, we're going to be selecting the topic, then you'll be discussing some preliminary thoughts on the topic, maybe giving a couple of the arguments that you think you may want to discuss in the paper. You'll be doing a little research and posting three sources that you'll be using for your paper, and you'll also be selecting some terms and giving some definitions for those terms. Now the terms will have to do with the subject that you choose. So for example, if you decide to talk about what good art is, you might select the term aesthetics and then give a definition of that in your own words. And so those terms will be directly related to your topic and you might think about some words that maybe your reader won't know and go ahead and define those for your reader. I also want to direct you to the doc sharing area where I have posted an outline of what I'll be looking for in the final product of your paper. During week four you will be posting a rough draft and you should have most of the components that are included in the paper in your rough draft. And I have outlined how to write how to write the thesis statement, how to write the body of the paper, the introduction and the conclusion. So go ahead and follow those PowerPoint presentations when you put together your paper assignment for week four and then you'll be presenting the final product in week six. I look forward to our discussion.